everybody, JFM here, gonna give you another video. I'm gonna teach you another comic book lesson. This time it has to do with comic book grammar. Believe it or not, comics have their own rules on how to present lettering and the speech bubbles and all that. And there are a lot of editors out there who are very picky on them. So I'm gonna show you the different types of um, a comic book grammar and we're just teaching you uh, c correctly how to letter your comic and all that so let's start alright might as well start with the most basic things of course you all know the base the simple speech bubble just put it rough here yeah just uh, a little balloon points it at the character, seeing how the character is talking here. So see? And this character right here, it's he's kind of shouting, but if I if he's actually gonna yell, then I actually draw up like, like this. Keep a I draw an oval. And have the actual, um, I don't know what to call them, the little spikes actually meet up on the side of the circle. And it's, and me personally, I like to keep my spikes uneven. Like that. And this gives the, the, the message that he is yelling it out. Like that. Now, how about like thought bubbles, thought balloons? Yeah, thought balloons, you know, wavy, like this. Uh huh. Thinking about something, you can have, I don't know, but, uh, thing like that. Or how I do it, I just have, you know, a regular oval with smaller ovals leading to the character. Like that. Pretty basic with the different uh, bubbles or balloons, whatever you call them. Now, with actual grammar. The first thing I'm going to show you is the asterisk sign. You know this little star symbol? The, whenever it's in a comic book, it's, it's going to lead you somewhere. It's like, um, let, let's say my character thinks of, uh, or says something. Remember that time or something put an asterisk and then in the bottom of the page the asterisk here then you put a you actually write what that um, sentence is referencing off of like episode uh, 22 you know yeah now I'm gonna use my comic for an, as an example with the asterisk like you see, Jeff says, um, please don't remind me of that, because Taylor actually said, yeah, a game that doesn't kill you. And if the reader, if, the, if this is the first episode the reader reads, then he or she might become confused. So the asterisk will lead to down here in the corner, on Taylor episode one. Now, bold letters like this high and, um... You know, just bold letters in general. Right here, quiet is being bold, so that means the word quiet is uh, being emphasis, emphasized. Like, it's not be quiet, it's like be quiet. Like that. Once again, I'll use my comic as an example. Jeff, how he says it is like this. 
like always, you make another pointless statement. And that's pretty much how it is. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but my, my comics always have uh, all capital letters. Because most comics out there are all capital letters. You could make a comic with just uh, capital and lowercase letters, like, like ordinary English grammar. But there are pretty much every comic I've seen in the mainstream, and a lot of web comics all have capital letters. And this font that I downloaded, it doesn't have any lowercase letters, so pretty much stuck like this. Which means it's supposed to be like this. I'm guessing all comics are um, all capital letters. But then again, when it comes to your comic, it's your choice. If you feel more comfortable with the capital letters or ordinary capital and lowercase letters. Now there's a very strange rule in comic books and that's the letter I. The dif there's a difference between this I and this I. They're both capital letters for, for you know, for the I's. But, there is a major difference between the I with the crossbars and the I's without. And I'll show you. You see right here, where um, this girl says, Oh, sorry, Maria, I can't make it. You see the crossbar I and the one without crossbar. Well, pretty much, when you write uh, normally, you uh, capitalize the I when you talk about a pro the pronoun I, or and for an abbreviation, the beginning of a sentence, or in the, the beginning of a person's name. And that's where you have the crossbar I. If it doesn't, if it, you know, then have one without. You see it. Uh, the the I in family going and wedding is you know without and you see but I you know if she's talking about herself then you use the crossbar I I have no idea why this rule is is here but I'm guessing the crossbar I takes up a lot of space probably and it's pretty much distracting it the crossbar I is meant to be, you know, it's meant to stand out. And you can't have a big I stand out in a word like invitations. And that's it. Uh, so far, um, that's all I'm going to teach you right now. And if you want more, just go to blambot.com and have that guy teach you in the article section about comic book grammar and all that. And um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, my website has been updated, so you can visit that, jfmstudio.com, and see you later.